Neurological disorders can cause lower limb dysfunction and increased fall risk. Risk assessment tests include timed up and go or tug test and cognitive tug test or C-tug test. Studies examining temporal spatial parameters exist. However, there is a deficit in information on lower limb kinematics, including ankle and knee range of motion. These outcome measures provide critical biomechanical markers for detecting musculoskeletal issues. I am Alana Nerich, and I'm going to give a brief overview of this preliminary study investigating tug and C tug ankle and knee ranges of motion. Lower limb situated IMUs enable joint kinematics capture whilst performing tug and C tug tests. The tug test involved the participant starting from sitting, standing, walking three meters, turning around, walking back and returning to sitting. The C tug involved the participant counting backwards during the task. Knee and ankle angles were calculated by integrating gyroscopic data. Typical knee and ankle angles versus time are shown here. Range of motion was calculated using the difference between maximum and minimum joint angles. Percentage change between tug and C tug tests was calculated using equation one at the top right of the slide. Most tug and C tug phase comparisons had a reduction in range of motion, possibly attributed to extra work required for lower limb joint coordination during C tug. This could enable further studies on cognitive impairments affecting gait. Ankle and knee joint range of motion increase or decreases have consistency across test phases. Ankle and knee range of motion has been associated with poor balance measures. These findings could potentially aid full risk assessment through providing objective measures for neurological limb motion control. 